Well, I was diagnosed um, the 21st of October in 2009, and life before that is um, pretty much like every young kid. I was at school, um, I was born and grew up in China, and my family was a Catholic family, and I came out at the age of 15, which was, which was really young, and uh, my dad not just my dad, but my whole family wasn't really happy about the fact, of course. I came to Australia when I was 19, and two years later, my boyfriend died in London in a car accident. And in that year, I was really depressed, and I tried to kill myself uh, after my 21st birthday. I stayed in hospital for three days, and then I got a call from the clinic. They asked me to go in for a chat, and I did. And they told me that I was positive. I know there are ways to deal with HIV, but, but to be HIV positive is like this new identity you all of a sudden just take on. Because if you are HIV positive, people think that you are blah, blah, blah. You know, this is all this sort of pre um, perception there. Um, and I wasn't quite sure how to deal with this new identity, really. It's just this label that people put on you. Mm, it did take a long while for me uh, to realize what kind of position I am in. You know, I, 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 I was the minority in the minority, <laughs> and to be in that s position, um, you know, doesn't really allow me to live a life like any other kid. The diagnosis with HIV, um, of course, is it was a big evil threat to my family too, um, because in their mind, to be positive means that you are sexually, you know, uh, I don't know, lusty or whatever, you know, um, and, and they are really disappointed with me. And I haven't talked to my dad since 2009, really. So it's been a couple of years. And, um, and I'd say that it is, it is a sort of some sort of judgment people would make on you before they even start to know you. It's 2013, and we all know that living with HIV isn't a hard thing in terms of the um, the physics. Like, you know, like it doesn't affect your body like it used to be, and you can live a healthy, happy life just like anybody else. I guess to be an art student or the so-called artist, the future is always uncertain and unknown. But um, I mean, I still I like I see things in the positive ways, like these days. Like uh, I've had two exhibitions this year already. Um, I guess it's going to the right direction, and I'm pretty sure that I'm on the right track. And I think that's more important than anything else in any anybody's life. Uh, I, I guess I I guess BGF is playing a really big role. Um, uh, they financially support me in a lot of different ways, and without this financial support, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing these days. By donating to, to Bobby Goldsmith Foundation, um, it really makes change in people's lives, and it shows your um, appre appreciation to some people who are having difficulty in their lives, so they can move on and start again. Yeah. Bobby Goldsmith Foundation really makes a difference.